my god. I say they are they are fun. Look at the <laughs> I I went outside <laughs> and it was horrible. <laughs> so but they're the warriors of hope. But they're using Monokuma. That's what confused me, because they say that they're the warriors of hope, they're using Monokuma, which is a symbol of despair. So they're hope using a symbol of despair to make a world without that's a different Monokuma. To make a world without adults. So then there's only children. Oh my god, I love gangster Monokuma. And it's with the children. <laughs> so nice. Ah, uh, such a brisk, brisk breeze. Just bodies. I'm scared of a green-haired girl. Don't remember her name. Hurry, murder all the children. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm really curious about that. That's why he caught me off guard, because they said that they're Kurakuma? Kuro. Kurokuma. Yeah, why are they using a symbol of despair if they're like the warriors of hope? Shirokuma. There's multiple Kumas. And then and then the, the little the little bastard children. Oh yeah, Coco! You look like Coco for a second. Monaki. Monaki? Monaki. Nigasa. That's the only one I remember. I'm very disturbed by the children. I think the children have a very twisted sense of hope. Please let me be able to play Toko. Nagisa. 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 <laughs> Monaka. Monaka? Monaki? Monaki? Monaka! <laughs> Monaka! <laughs> the warrior of hope. War or oh, warrior, plural warriors, warriors, multiple, Around multiple a year children. And a half ago, a certain incident completely changed the, the world. most tragic, most awful event. In the, is that what we're gonna talk about? How did you read it as? <laughs> Words are hard, Pebbles. I'm just a mere bear, Pebbles. You gotta listen. <laughs> Monaka, Monaka, Monaki, Monaki. <laughs> Apparently, the origin of the incident was a student movement at a certain school. Huh! I wonder what school that was! But the school covered it up, so it was too late when the world finally realized. Wait, where's the school? Where am I looking at this picture for the school? I don't even see it. Mudda? Mudikuma? I imagine a Mudikuma with like the cheeks, the little orange cheeks. It grew out of control. Becoming a monster that swallowed the entire world. It couldn't have just been some riot or student protest. It had to be something far deeper. Deep. This is getting real, real deep. It's a building on the right. Oh, there it is. I was like, I thought, why are we, why are we focused on the random patch of grass? Then it is. But you, you are right. It's a building on the right. Why are we not overlooking? Well. Uh, my, my right is your guys's, or my left is your guys's right. Why are we not focused over there? Instead of, we're focused on the grass patch. <laughs> um. That much should be obvious. It did come from Hope's Peak Academy, after all. I just noticed that whenever hope, the word hope is used, despair is like really close behind. And whenever despair is said, hope is really close behind. Like whenever like the, like the, the warriors of hope are like the most despair I've ever seen in the last three games. <laughs> Other than Funko, but that doesn't, I'm totally different. Whereas like when we hear despair, we see like a really big amount of hope. Like whenever there's like, this is supposed to be like the center of despair, all of a sudden you see a bunch of hope there. And all of a sudden when this is supposed to be the center of hope, like Hope Speak Academy, you see a bunch of despair. I'm finished the third game, nice. Yeah, at some point I'm gonna be doing, the, watching the anime and then finishing the third, um, playing the third game as well. Everything just blends together like pep, pep, pep oh, I think he said peplo, pepto down the floor. Oh my goodness. Eventually. The incident grew so much in strength and scale that it threw the world into despair. So this takes place between one and two. It seems like it. Maybe a little bit during two. But it seems like it's taking place between the two. Theft, arson, brutality, murder. The violent crime rate went off the charts. Ah, oh, yes, murder. <laughs> I like how they put theft in there. I think theft compared to arson, brutality, and murders probably very calm compared to the other the other th i don't think that should be included in those other three pablo yes <laughs> i've never watched the third anime yeah i'm really excited to see how the anime fits it's between and yeah it feels like it yeah to me theft is not a violent crime pebbles why did you upset why did you give that emote i think burglary is what they're trying to say burglary is because i think if theft is when you steal something without hurting anybody 
But burglary is when you steal something, but you hurt somebody in the process. I think there's two different. My friend told me to watch that but now I'm addicted. It's my favorite. Chi oh, you like Chia? My favorite is Sakura. Kink. <laughs> violence spawned revenge, Listen. which fueled more violence, <laughs> driving the crime rate even higher. Well, fire, like, yeah, violence seeds violence. Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, I can see it. Before long, a global war broke out. A war not for land or ideals, but only for the sake of war. When Chia got killed, I changed my Discord name. Oh, oh, oh. That's like, um, I like Alter Ego as well. A lot of my favorite characters are actually from the first game. <laughs> Um, I liked some of the characters from the second game, but most of my favorites are from the first game. Um, it might be just because it was the first, so a lot of them stuck with me, but Sakura is still my favorite. Uh, I, I'm stick Chi, um, Chia until, until May. Oh, so you have the, you have the profile right now until May? Oh, your favorite is in this game, Goats. That's interesting. I know a lot of people said that V3 is good, but not a lot of the characters are like their favorites. I'm gonna be able to watch it again. What, the anime? I barely put myself to watch it the first time. Well, you don't have to, Pebbles. You're, I you mean, you're free. I'm not gonna be like, watch Pebbles and like force your head. Look at it, Pebbles. <laughs> My favorite is the most, is the most brutal. Funko, you like Funko out of the card? Cause that would be probably the most brutal. Tenko is, I, I don't know. I was to say, I haven't played B3 yet, Giant. So I don't know characters. It's Toko Jack, what do you mean? <laughs> Toko Toko is a good character. That's why I said that's why I like like most of my favorite characters is like Sakura, Alter Ego slash um, Chihiro, um, Toko Jack. So it's like that. And my favorite character in this game is um, well genocide. Genocide Jill is amazing. A war that tainted the world with despair. But even with all this evil and chaos, I had complete faith in my world. Oh, this is the picture that they showed uh, Makoto in the first game. What do you call it? Um, in the first game, to get him, what was it? It was the first motive, right? When they were showing the pictures to all of them and it made Sayaka like go crazy. She's so funny. Oh yeah, I love, Genocide Jill's great. Like when her character got exposed in the first game, it sent me for a loop, but I, she became one of my me, favorites very fast. felt like I was falling. I kept believing. It's still okay. It's all right. I like how happy the dad is. <laughs> the dad is very happy. The motive. Then, I found out that seven of my classmates had died suspiciously. I fell further still. But even then, I kept telling myself, it's all going to be fine. Oh yeah, my, just, seven, just seven of my fellow peers have died. It's going to be fine. Whoever slaughters with the skill of Sweeney Todd mixed with the fun of Alucard of Bridge. I mean, I mean, Toko has scissors. That's pretty close. <laughs> when I first saw, um, I had a heart attack and I started dying of laughter. Oh, you, f when you first saw it, when you first saw, um, Yoko Toko turn into Genocide, I didn't expect it because she was so soft spoken. And then all of a sudden she just like turned and it was like, oh my God. <laughs> but the realization that it was too late came to me like the ground rushing up to break my fall. Though I do like that like Toko's very soft spoken, but like also like what is probably the most perverted characters of the girl characters at least. A group of men I had never seen before broke into my house and separated me from my family. The world I had been living in up to that moment collapsed. Ev oh, I didn't mean to sorry. <laughs> horrible and unjust imprisonment. A year and a half passed. So she was so she doesn't know if her parents are dead or I'm guessing dead. I'm guessing big dead. So I guess she didn't die or it would have been kind of boring for me. I was supposed to be a normal high school girl. But instead, I became a complacent. I'm just prisoner. curious why they kept her. Unless the only reason they kept her alive was because of Makoto. They kept her alive so they had like um another motive ready. Funko had another motive ready for Makoto. So now you should know why she was in prison. The motive. I'm guessing it's the motive. And what was waiting for me at the end of that despair was a despair even deeper, even worse. There's no use in keeping hope. That's what I was forced to realize once again. I'm just curious if somebody's controlling each bear, like there's a person for each bear, or if each bear is just kind of like let loose and be like, destroy my children, feast. Where Makoto, he should be out with Byaku, right? Because we know that he survived because he showed up in two. Give Makoto pebbles like gift now. See, gift <laughs> right here. Oh, I forgot this is your first time playing. So yeah, I have to, please try not to spoil. I, I understand it's very hard. 
Um, yeah, this is your favorite of the series. This is your favorite giant, really? A lot of people said um, they like they they like this game, but it's not their favorite. Good, good, do me like that. I like how they don't even show real people; they're just blue and red. <laughs> it's like it's like Halo all over again. Happening? I want to be on the blue if team. I knew this was gonna happen. I would have stayed in my room forever. <laughs> Hopefully he doesn't see her. You're telling me he doesn't have like infrared or anything with that eyeball? I feel like the spin-off was the best. The second game was really boring. I actually like the twist at the end though of the second game. That was really good. Like I will I uh, so far I the first game is my favorite, of course. But the twist at the end of the second game was really good. Like, I didn't see that coming until, like, the last part of the chapter five. Like, when the whole thing started glitching out, I was like, what the fuck is happening? I'm like, don't tell me this was a whole, like, like, what do you call it? Like, um, oh, what is it? Um, oh, I forget what it's called. It's the same as that Biakia, guys. Uh, oh, I can't even think of the word. Um, that it just wasn't a real reality. They're in an alternate reality. That's what I was trying to say. I, I forget the word for it when you're uh, inside a computer. Oh, simulation. I didn't realize it was a simulation till the very end. Um, the twist at the end of the second game was so co was confusing to you, really? I mean, it's the simulation made sense though that they were trying to like not kill because like. Again, violence feeds violence. So if you fight violence with violence, you just get more violence. So I think they were trying to find a way to twist people that had been affected by despair back into hope without like murdering them. Because again, murder only leads to more murder, death to death. Uh, are you all right? No, I fallen and I can't get up. <laughs> Who are you? You shouldn't be here. Hurry up and run. Thank you, Neo. I will. Uh, um, you're from Future Foundation, right? Azura, Kamakura. Oh, the Izzy? We're talking about Izzy, the old guy, or the, or well, technically us in the second game. I was, I just called him Izzy. I was like, we're talking about Izzy, and now this is off topic. But I'm pretty sure they killed off Chia last on purpose because they knew almost everyone liked her. I don't think so. They had to. They had to because only because by finding out Monami's intentions, they would also find out Chia's intentions. Like, it was weird. Like, the only way to find out the truth was to find out who Chia really was. And of course, it was like, and then, and also Nacho kind of set her up a little bit. Is he the 16th suit lady? It's so weird. That's cool. Try it, watch, um, watch the anime with Stuffy. When she watches it, you will love it. The only one they call the ultimate despair. Thanks, Pebbles. I appreciate you. You told me to tell you something, 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 something. Oh, yeah, something. The ultimate something. Oh. How did you know? I don't know. Was it your out? It might be the glasses or what gave it away. I, I was told by a guy named Biakia Tagami to meet you here. Could you be? Are you a captive? <laughs> Are you a captive? No. <laughs> I'm the captain. <laughs> Wait, does that mean Chia didn't exist? Chia didn't exist. No, she was a computer. Did you you watch the? Did you said you watched the end of two? Uh, watch out for. <laughs> I still hated it. That's the only thing I hated about the first game is I heard that line like 50 times in a matter of 30 minutes. I was like, I swear. Hmm. 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 But yeah, Chia was a um, an AI. She wasn't real. Go to the park. Head through this door and go straight down the road. There should be a future foundation helicopter there. Hurry. Is this gonna be like Left 4 Dead? Gotta get to the helicopter. Gotta make an escape. I did watch the end, but I was so confused and didn't know what. Yeah, she was an AI. She was produced by the Hope Conversion Program, or I guess it'd be Despair Conversion, right? Well, no, you're converting people into Hope, so I guess it'd be Hope Conversion Program. She was developed by that to help monitor the students while they were. <laughs> when you realize your favorite character is not even real. <laughs> No, it's, she's still she's still one of my Gio was my Gio was best girl was my favorite in um, the second one. But what about you? Leave him, leave him. It's fine. Every man for himself. Trip him, trip him, Miss Eggie. It's fine. Hurry, you gotta get out of here. Why don't none of the Future Foundation people have guns? Like she has one. Why does he have one? I'm so sorry. 
my bare hands. <laughs> I'm just gonna pretend she was real. There you go. She and Mona B were observers. Deep down, we know that she was real. Oh, this is free. Oh, it's a side scroller now. Oh, 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 oh! Don't mind me. Just passing through. Do do do. Don't mind me. Oh, that's murder. Mom, Makoto. <laughs> I really want to see that murder on Third Street. <laughs> she could have just fought them and said she exactly. <laughs> she left them to die, <laughs> bruh. <laughs> it's like the Titanic scene all over again. There's only room for one on this door. <laughs> she just just leaves. Them. Oh my goodness. Are you people from Future Foundation? No. <laughs> again, was it the glasses I gave it away? Um, this guy called are they Kyaki gone? Are they, are so they like you guys dead? Could rescue me. <laughs> Excuse me, use words, please. What is your words. Name? Komaru. It's Komaru Naegi. There we go. I was gonna say, say it's your name because. information about a captive in this town was correct. Ah, oh, yes. More Neos. I feel like they're cloning people. No, they're from the Cheese Foundation. <laughs> take me, take me to the fondue. So, where's Byakuya Togami? Is he safe? Oh, my goodness. It'd be the Cheese Fondue. <laughs> to the Cheese Foundation. He, he told me to run, so I, I haven't oh, my seen goodness. him since. I see. I can't reach him, so I thought he might be in danger. But then again, this is Byakuya Tagami we're talking about. I'm sure he can handle it. Why are they... Question. Why are they, like, so emotionless? Like, compared to Byaku, like, they have no emotion. I feel like these people are not people. <laughs> they are robots. I would love to get saved by the cheese too. <laughs> but, but there was someone from Future Foundation getting attacked in the restaurant back there. I think he did. <laughs> you left him to die. <laughs> he being dead. Please, you have to go save him. No, it's too late. You did this to him. Understood. I'll go back for him. Oh, well, it's, not, it's too. There were five bears against one guy who didn't have a gun. I think he's gone. I hope he can make it in time. Hold up. <laughs> oh. Um, what exactly is going on here? I still have no idea what's happening. Why aren't we leaving? The question is, why aren't we going and we can talk on the way? <laughs> She's just, hold up, she's just killing them. <laughs> she's the true, she's just setting up to their death, the true despair. They're, they're a peanut, wait, their parents are dead. <laughs> Everyone's dead. Elsa's dead. <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> it's actually a pretty cool main character. I like her, but I just think like right now she's like very dramatic. I feel, I hope, <laughs> I mean, in her, in, in, if I was in her like position, I think I'd be very dramatic. Just trying to save her. I mean, <laughs> Let's be truthful. Most of us be like, get out of my way. <laughs> Every man for himself. Of all of them, she's my third. She's your third. Who's your, who's your first? Who's your first? Oh, you like Makoto. I should have known. I should, I should know this answer. Who's your second? I don't know who you are or where I am or anything. Now, I'm curious who your second is. Cause I'm guessing Makoto's your first. I see. Well, we don't have much time, so I'll give you the short version. Why do you sound like Byaku now? Oh, you like Hachime. So the fourth, your fourth favorite is from V3. Camera is my favorite. You, oh, you like, you like Miss Eggy? She has my fa first save. I'm, I'm, Sakura will always be my first save. Makoto is my sweet boy, my precious child. <laughs> He's ultimate first save. This ultimate everything at this first point. First off, we're from an organization called Future Foundation. I still think, I swear, like in the last game, I swore Nacho was going to turn out to be Makoto in the end. That he like fell into despair. Like it was really surprising. Like I still wonder why they use the same voice actor. Because it made that really confusing by doing it. We're trying to help the world recover from the incident. You know what I'm referring to? No, I don't know. I don't know what we were talking about. Are you talking about the dead bodies? Incident? <laughs> the incident? Look around, Miss Eggie. <laughs> Nacho made me believe he. Exactly. See, Giant had the same thing. I kept thinking, I was like, this guy's gonna turn out to be Makoto in the end. And then it wasn't. I was like, really? I just think it's the most logical one and most relatable. Eggy is Eggy. Eggy is just adorable. Like, he's so... He, like... If it wasn't for Coco and Biako, I'm pretty sure Eggy would have been dead, like, way longer. Like, it's way earlier, your I mean. imprisonment. The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. 
So she was locked up because of the motive, though. It was more than just an incident. It shook the foundations of society to the core. If that's if this is what the world looks like, why are all the buildings still standing? Like, we, if you look behind her when they go back to the scene, it looks fairly normal. But he was somewhat lucky, I suppose. Yeah, that's true. And it wasn't just one. Various incidents broke out all over well, the world. The other reason, too, I thought Nacho was uh, Makoto was because he was the ultimate lucky student. So it like it like hit me, and I was like, oh my god, it could be Makoto. And um, Nacho was the real, the real, the ultimate, ultimate lucky student. And then the war. The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history includes that too. So World War Three, pretty much. It explains that stuffy. I'm just, I'm just trying to put together. Because of all of this, the world just crumbled. But in all that chaos, Future Foundation is trying the best we can to bring hope back to this world. <laughs> Who's the mysterious red figure? M Miss Red? <laughs> Ivy, is that you? Looks like Ivy. I'm guessing, I'm guessing oh, it's supposed to be Junko. As for this town. Hey, look, the buildings look fine! <laughs> I mean, yes, there's a little bit of fog and the sky. Apparently, there's a red moon tonight. There's a blood moon. But look, people are standing. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Hair Kamakura? Are you alright? No, I'm I'm just I've just no I've just I've just been involved or like not involved. I've just seen murder. I'm not okay. <laughs> it's a lot to take in. Uh yeah. It's just a lot to take in, that's all. It's hard to hear. Again, why aren't they explaining this while they're flying away? <laughs> so you didn't recognize is it, oh, that, is it that Izzy? It was very feminine, though. I thought Izzy's supposed to be, it, like, they made him look very feminine. And I thought his hair was, like, they made him look, yeah, he wasn't that feminine in the first game. It, okay, so here's what happened. Durgan ate Pebbles cereal when Pebbles wasn't looking to get back at Durgan. Pebbles set out a bunch of robots. <laughs> Not my Captain Crunch. I'm sorry, but you need to know. This town is an island off the coast and controlled by a powerful IT corporation. No, but I didn't notice, I didn't recognize Izzy Pebbles. If that was, if that red silhouette was Izzy, I didn't recognize it because it just looked too feminine to me. It's commonly called Toa City. Toa City used to just be a nickname, but now it's what everyone calls it. Ever since the government stopped functioning due to the tragedy, did they rebuild a city? Is that what happened? <laughs> Look at Durkin's face. Toa Group and their cutting-edge technology are running the show here. Toa Group is a corporation that played a huge role in rebuilding the world. Ever since the tragedy, air pollution has made a lot of the planet uninhabitable. But Toa Group developed an air purifier that can clean massive quantities of air at a time. Sounds like, um... Well, you could guess mostly by the hair. He's the only character. I mean, that's true. I guess I could have guessed by the hair because he has like that big mass of like almost looks like that like his hair is going to strangle somebody like like Cthulhu hair. Oh, yes. Five years of ex exposition. <laughs> I'm guessing so. It's almost kind of like um, the idea of I'm just going to use Attack on Titan a little bit. Not that it's exactly the same, but it's kind of like the last like living group of humans came together to make a new civilization to start anew. And this is, this is them. This is, this is them. This is our, like, their city amongst the despair that was supposed to give hope to, like, a new generation, and it failed. Me back, me back at eating chicken? Noise. They so subtle. Only three months after the safety order to stay indoors was given. Even after all this time, people all over the world are still clamoring for it. But the clean air isn't the only thing that draws people to this town. Is it, is it the swing set? I mean, I would come for the swing set. So you're spoiling the attack on Titan. How could you? I know I get that from one kid. Oh my god! Pebbles, that's like the main. That's like the. Everybody knows that part. <laughs> There's like. Oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> because of Toa Group's influence, this city has suffered far less damage than others. <laughs> by the way, Pebbles, the city in Attack on Titan is attacked by Titans. <laughs> Giant people. <laughs> Some of you already giving me despair. And because it's relatively unaffected by the incident, it's of special interest to us. <laughs> How could you? Yes, Pebbles, big giant titan people. But this kind of riot going on in Toa City, this is something we never anticipated. 
I'm calling the Twitch police. <laughs> this is my, my brother's spoiled attack on Titan telling me my favorite character died. Oh, did they really? Oh, we'll see. I would never do that. Plus, I've only seen the first two seasons. I don't know if that person... I don't remember. Actually, I should probably rewatch. I don't remember. <laughs> so oh, my right. goodness. Why is something like this happening? Honestly, even we have no clue whatsoever about what's happening here. I still like when I watched the first episode with a friend, and she still was so disturbed by Attack on Titan. I'm like, if you're disturbed by this, <laughs> I'm like, you should watch some of the animes I watch. Where those Monokumas came from, why they're attacking the city, and that broadcast by those creepy kids. None of it makes any sense at all. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out where the kids came from. You died, but I still watch. Well, sometimes, like, even though I hate when my favorite character does, sometimes the by killing my favorite character draws me in more. Because then I, like, I want, like, vengeance for my character, so I want to be like, why did you kill, like, and, like, why was it important to kill this character? And you're going to tell me that Tokyo Ghoul has ghoul. I mean, I hate to tell you, Pebbles. <laughs> and Pebbles, you know Pokemon? <laughs> they actually catch these things called Pokemon. <laughs> There's these creatures. The only thing we know for sure is that something horrible is happening here. And there's a show called Digimon where they're actual digital monsters. We need to get more into. Let me just spoil every anime. Escaped. We need to leave. Oh my now. good. Watch out, she's gonna say that <laughs> they use bleach in the laundry bed. <laughs> I've actually never seen bleach. To be honest, I can probably love to kill off all the good characters. Though again, that kind of is like what pulls your art. Like that's kind of what like makes me love this game because they the way they do their character development makes me get so attached to characters that when they die or something happens to them, it hurts. Like even if they're not the ones that get killed, but they become like the killers. Like it hurts seeing them become the killers or die. Like I that it's great how they do that. I'm spoiled. I'm gonna go cry. I was just about to make that joke. Stop me. <laughs> Damn, I beat you too. Then I'm gonna spoil me. People die. <gasps> How could you, Pebbles? Yeah, you're right. We need to hurry and escape. We'd probably get killed in a place like this. Exactly. Why are we not leaving and talking while we? Again, we can talk while we're in. It's not like you can't talk in a helicopter. That group was so good. I fell in love with. Hey, well, just the character development is what I love. If a game, if a game can't make you fall in love with the characters, there's something wrong. Like you have to get connected to the characters at some point. Like whether it's the main character, the villain. Something. If you can't connect with any of the characters, it's, it makes it makes the game very hard to get behind. The first time I cried during Execute with when Chia died. The first time I cried was during Sakura and um, Alter Ego. The, well, I didn't actually cry, but I got very sad. And I'm, um, I mean, I want to see my family again. It's been so long. I... It's been so long since I had a hug. Hugs of the O guide. <laughs> Um, when she got crushed by the block, I cried. Yeah, that was that was really sad. Though I did really like her execution because I'm a big gamer, so I really like the little gamer references. Characters are great, but I never got into the world of Dragon Ball. But it's, really, how can you not get? How can you get into characters without the world? Are oh, you mean like just the, like this world? Because I could kind of understand. I mean, it's a little smoky. <laughs> I bet the neighbors heard me. In, 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 I'm I'm a gamer. Uh, the whole despair and a girl. <gasps> So I could relate. See, yeah, <laughs> I related to her a lot, especially when she talked about a lot of her social anxieties and being not able to talk to people. I was like, I relate so much. The little story of herself saying instead of making me, um, the um, making me made me. Oh, I see the whole. I get. I understand. I get what oh, you're saying. About your family. They're dead. <laughs> Hold it. What was that? Oh, don't leave me in suspense like that. Two words. Are they dead? Dead or alive? Use what are those two words? Hear I hear the whispery and ah! <laughs> just the distance. They're all dead. I'm dead. You're dead. Is that singing? Everyone is dead. Your mom and your dad. Over there. Your pet rock. Not 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 Rocky. <laughs> oh, is this one of the kids? <laughs> it's one of the kids. A kid? Wait, is he controlling it with the helmet? He's controlling it with the helmet. Oh my god, that's he's got a person in his belt! Put it down! Put it down! Drop it! Drop it, brother! Oh my god, that's terrible! They're dog versions? This way! Those are different versions! Get off! Yeah, it's like you're dead. Close door, close door, close door, close door. Shoot it! Shoot it! Chicken! Chicken! 
Biscuit. Bad doggy. No, Biscuit. Get. <laughs> oh, wow. These snacks. Snicker snacks. Who's a good Monokuma? Oh. I feel like they could have killed her a long time ago, and they're not, though. Mo Moto dog. <laughs> I believe I can fight. I don't trust your fight. I'm gonna leave a one-star review on Yelp. Worst flight ever. <laughs> Would not do. Wait, why is the execution song playing? Wait, are we about to? Are we gonna die already? <laughs> Well, good game. Good game, everybody. <laughs> game over. That's such a beautiful dog. <laughs> 10 out of 10. Well. Oh, she survived. Oh, not for long. Oh. Oh. Oh, 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 that's like one too many. <laughs> just play dead. There you go. They won't even know. Just play dead. Just don't breathe. <laughs> just, oh, that's a lot of Monokumas. <laughs> Anybody want a cookie? <laughs> I have cookies. Holy crap.